All right, what's up, guys? So I have a basic problem right here, and I kind of wanted to break it down because I know if I could solve it for this guy right here, Steven, uh, I could probably solve it for someone else too. And I'm basically just going to take you through what I would do if I saw this problem and show you how to get the right answer without messing up. So we have Renee deposits $4,000 in a savings account that earns 4% simple interest per year. How much interest will she earn after three years? So we have how much she uh, basically deposited, which is 4000 right? 4000 And it's going to earn 4%. Um, it earns 4% each year. So basically we have to find out what that 4% is and then add it to the three years. So what we do to figure that out is we just, you know, go ahead and write out uh, 4%. And you know, we just figure out what it is from here. So I wrote it. I wrote it out this way, um, just so you know, I don't skip any steps, and you understand how to do it. And um, basically, you'll understand how to go from from A to Z and it's figuring out the answer for this problem. So you go four times zero will basically give us zero. Four times zero give us zero. Four times zero will give us another zero, right? And then four times four, um, I'm sure we all know our um, times table, so it's going to give us 16. And I hope you do. If you don't, that's going to help you out uh, before you take the test. So, you know, just go and brush up on that if you forgot it already. Um, yeah, so it's give you 16,000, right? And we got to remember, um, basically, since we have this uh, decimal right here, we also got to bring uh, the decimal over, you know, from... From the whole number that we got so we have this one right here we're going to bring it one two places to the left all right so once we have 160 uh, that's pretty much it right so now we just add this three times we go 160 times three which gives us zero three times six is 18 three times one is three Carry the one plus that one gives you 480. All right. Now, if it said anything else, like find, you know, the first year, the second year, and the third year, basically all you do is, you know, it'll be the same as writing uh, this problem out just long form. So you, you know, we have 160 right here. So we would just go 160 will be the first year. Say year one. Year two would be 160 times two equals 320. So year two would be 320. And then we would do year three. We would do 160 times three equals 480, which is the same as doing 160, 160, 60. So year one, year two, year three, we have zero plus zero, zero is zero. Six plus six plus six gives you 18. One plus one plus one plus one gives you four. All right, so there's a bunch of ways you can get it. Uh, just, you know, pick one and, you know, simplify it the best way you know how to. And, yeah, let me know if you have any questions on, you know, anything else that you, that you see in this, inside this problem.